Welcome back, LHS. I'm Lucas. And I'm Mage. And this is your Blue, Blue Devil, Devil News. News. This week is Red Ribbon Week in support of Substance Abuse Prevention. Wear your camo for tomorrow's theme, Drugs Can't Find Me. LHS Choir is selling poinsettias for one more week. A six and a half inch pot is $13 and eight inches $25. The funds will help pay to transport the choir to Dollywood in April. LHS Softball is hosting a spectacular softball game tomorrow and Thursday, the 25th and 27th from 5.30 to 7.30. The camp is open to ages 6 through 12. Teachers received an email from Coach Atwood with a sign-up link. Today's Down Syndrome Awareness Fact is people have Down Syndrome. They do not suffer from it, and they are not afflicted by it. Skills USA Auto will meet after school every Wednesday in room A804. Students who are taking the PSAT, please pick up your student guide in the Counseling Center if you haven't already. As a reminder, the test is tomorrow, the 25th, and all test takers will report to the auditorium first thing in the morning. Now let's check in with Sir Charlie May for the weather. Thanks guys, today is 61 degrees and sunny with a high of 78 and a low of 46. The wind is 6 miles per hour and tomorrow there's a high of 74 and a low of 56 with a 60% chance of rain. Back to y'all. Thanks Charlie May. In local news, Music City's Multicon is Nashville's largest annual gaming, comic, cosplay, and pop culture convention. It is taking place October 28th through the 30th in the Espo Center at the fairgrounds this year. A few people who will be there is David Finch, Metal Jesus, Ginger Snap, and more. There will be vendors, panels, tabletop games, video games, esports tournaments, pinball tournaments, cosplay contests, and other events. Tickets can be purchased online or at the door. The three-day pass is a discounted rate, and the kids' tickets are even lower in order to bring the whole family. The Lost Boys pr premieres tomorrow night at the Capitol Theater. Doors open at 5.30. Tickets are $5, and concessions will be available. The Lost Boys is about a mother and two sons who move to a small town. The town is full of bikers and mysterious deaths. The boys make two friends who claim to be vampire hunters, while the, other, while the older boy is drawn to a gang of bikers and a beautiful girl. Now to Evan with sports. Thanks, y'all. Our Blue Devils took the win against Gallatin with a score of 14-9. With a new record of seven and two, they play their final game of the season at senior on senior night against Warren County this Friday. The Titans protected their home ground against the Colts with a score of 19 to 10. Derrick Henry had 30 carries with 128 rushing yards. Ryan Tannehill threw 13 for 20 with 132 passing yards. They are now four and two, and they play Houston this Sunday. The Vols destroyed UT Martin with a score of 65 to 24. Quarterback number five, Hendon Hooker, threw for 276 passing yards with three TDs. Wide receiver number 11, Jalen Hyatt, had seven catches, two TDs with 174 receiving yards. The Vols are still undefeated and they play Kentucky this Saturday at 6 p.m. Cumberland's men's basketball team kicks off their season this Thursday in Cookville at Tennessee Tech at 7.30 p.m. Cumberland's women's basketball team plays number fourth in Montgomery, Alabama against Thomas University at 1 p.m. That's all the sports we have today. Back to you guys. Thanks, Evan. That's all we have for you today, LHS. I'm Lucas. And I'm Mage. And this has been the news to you from, from the, the White and Blue. And Blue.